Hello, I'm Hatrix, and if you just want the quick answer, no, I don't think the early access was worth it, uh, at least for me. So going into this, I didn't research much what there actually was to do. And if I've done, I probably won't have bought it because I wasn't aware that it was only normal dungeons. I hoped at least for heroic dungeons, so I could prepare a couple of characters for mythic dungeons with some high eye level. But normal gear from dungeons is 550, but you can simply just buy that from the auction house with random BOEs. And even with the warband, you can just get random pieces on your main and you can even send them. So what was there to do, at least for me? I got my main character, my Honda, at level 80. And my secondary character, I, really, I knew I wanted to play my Frost Death Knight. I got it to 75. That took me from EU time, 9 in the morning-ish, and 11, <laughs> 11 in the night. If you're not aware, you get 5% increased experience for each 80 character you have. So it is quicker to level alts now. Yeah, I'm a slow leveler, so this took me basically one day. I could have prepared <laughs> these two characters from Monday, Tuesday, whenever it's out. And if I haven't made it uh, Monday, Tuesday, it would probably be fine because I would only be missing heroic dungeons and that wouldn't even be a big thing. <laughs> and on the second, if you actually did play season four and you had some high eye level pieces, the difference from high eye level season four pieces to normal pieces is barely there. I mean, some of the pieces are even better, the set bonus and stuff. So you're not really missing out on yeah, myself and others were pretty disappointed when we talked and played during the launch. It was, of course, fun, but I am pretty sure we could have the same amount of fun. The The only thing is actually just the FOMO of your friends or some others that you know are playing and you're not. That is what I felt some of that I bought into, being able to play with them and not having to wait. And yeah, uh, but we were actually pretty across the board disappointed of the amount of things to do. I mean, we can now level some alls we probably didn't plan to do, but with only Heroic being out next week, we could probably also level those alts next week. But that is, it's also easy to be clever retrospective with knowledge now, but maybe someone is considering to buy it tomorrow, depending on when you watch this and get one or two days and you had now have this to consider when you make your decision if you should uh, buy it so yeah not worth it if your money is tight you probably didn't miss much if you miss anything at all and vice versa i would say if you have spare money of course and you have a free weekend it is more world of warcraft after all and you are choosing of and your decisions of course that's it i hope you liked uh, my take on the early access I'm also curious to hear about your experience, so leave a comment. That is both if you choose not to, maybe how it felt, or if you chose to buy the early access, do, do you think it was worth it? And yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.